He's been the longtime successful boys basketball coach at Bishop O'Dowd, Lou Ritchie. Been a long time since we've seen him pacing the sidelines, but he's been heard from and sporting a COVID haircut too. I made it very clear when anyone came up, I don't want to go to jail and I don't want to get shot. Lou Ritchie's thoughts from his East Bay home today as he reflected on a recently organized peaceful protest during the Pac-12 men's basketball tournament in Las Vegas. The Bishop O'Dowd coach intended to generate discussion as to why there are no black head coaches in the men's conference, not since 2019. His Black Coaches Association supports the drive for more diversity. There is a Bill Russell rule that mandates minorities be interviewed for top jobs, but most athletic directors have a prepared short list. When you see those coaches not getting the access, mm -hmm. that's when it's a challenge because people are intentionally not giving them access. So off to Vegas they went, position where the teams would enter and exit. It didn't take long to get noticed. The way the security ran, as soon as they brought one team, they brought another team over immediately. So we went kind of to an in-between point, and that's when Oregon State came out, who ended up winning. And, you know, everything was positive. Hey, you know, go Oregon State, go Coach Tinkle. On the way there, just positive feedback from everybody. Hey, I wish I had a car right now because I could honk. Let's go, Tinko. Good luck. Good luck, Stevie. Security did not play ball. All of this is private property, so you need to get out of here. And I said, well, you know, the team's going to come out in a minute. Can I just wait a minute? No, you cannot. And that's when I asked him, you know, what were my options? And he said, your options are uh, to go up to your hotel room, put the picket sign up, and never bring it back. By then, Richie's signs had been seen. Where do we go from here? Um, you know, I, I think we keep having discussion. We see what action we can take that's not going to cause any bad trouble. Um, and hopefully, presidents, chancellors, and ADs and conferences are having these discussions behind closed doors and more importantly, in front of open doors. The Pac-12's response? Its member universities have a long history of supporting diversity and inclusion. We are collectively committed to continuing to take steps to make progress in this critical area, including with respect to hiring minority coaches. Richie says 64% of players and 42% of coaches in the Pac-12 are black. On the women's side, Charmin Smith of Cal and Adia Barnes of Arizona are the lone black head coaches. Meantime for Richie, practice at Bishop O'Dowd starts Wednesday.